What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Seth V, walking through the master plan, or my little mini cologne, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. Anyways, I guess, there ain't nothing to be afraid of. Because there's some little, little narco kids, or drug user kids that never got caught. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Fuck. I'm hearing all the bullshit. Cause that dude never got over black because he's still smoking weed, so he never graduated from nigga, so too bad. Well, you know, whatever. Right now, I'm just recapping all my loss, you know, because they're, like, traveling little, like, little, like, narco kids and shit, thinking they're the greatest, but they're fucking not. They're just some fucking drug users, you know what I mean? After NA and AA shit, you're just a fucking fiend, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, uh, and especially after caught, too, you know? So, yeah, that's what's going on. Feel hella trapped and shit. I'm like, damn, is that girl trapped? Is she free or is like, I don't know, I don't know if I'm better. But you know, it's a difficult day, recapping my losses. There ain't shit to be afraid of when it comes to drugs. After you did a program and after you've been caught and after you've been burned, after you've been shot, it's just, it's nothing to be afraid of. Fuck it, you don't have to kill me this time, shit. You know, but as long as, long as I'm not the one doing drugs, I'm all good. But anyway, so that's what's going on today. Fucking trying to enjoy my uh, breakfast. And all I could think about was kids knownfully quitting doing drugs, bro. I know the first time I did drugs, I was little, you know. I just came to America. It was, it was rubber cement and, and weed. And um, everybody was giving me a bad time, you know. Like being a bitch, you know, dreadful day. I didn't get it because, you know, I was a little kid. And then I admitted that I smoked the fucking blunt. You know, I told long that I smoked weed and it was over. You know, the second I admitted it, you know, and I didn't have to do a 12-step program or nothing. All I did was admit to my mom that I smoked weed, you know, and that was it. So I was, like, thinking about, like, how different life would be, like, if kids, like, got, that got hit by drugs, you know, because they're, they're full of fear, bro, you know. If they, like, were to admit, you know, they did drugs or whatever, their future would be a lot better because then people would know that they've already suffered the fucking consequences of drugs, which is fucked up because kids can't participate in half of the ways out of drugs. They can't fuck out, bro. You know, that shit's fucking hard, bro. That's just, wow, that's difficult. You know, and then, like, how are you supposed to ball out? Like, how are you supposed to be, like, make money over crack, bro? If, you can't, if you're a kid and you can't make money, that's fucking sinvergüenza, cabrón. You know? The only way out as a kid is to knownfully admit it, bro, and then take the parental, parental like, punishment, you know? But there's no known places for kids to admit they did drugs. Only anonymous is. So that sets them up for another relapse when they get older, you know what I mean? It makes me feel like I'm a kid again. But anyway, there's nothing to be afraid of, you know, that I haven't already come across in the hood or in jail or in a program or not in a program or that I haven't heard the hood say before. It's not like the first time I have not I've gotten death threats before. And I'd be like, fuck, man. Shit's annoying. I'd be getting excited too, though, because I'd be like, "Fuck, I really don't like life." So when I hear shit like that, I get excited and shit. Like today might be the day, you know? Because <laughs> it's just crazy. I don't know. I love my dad. My dad told me I'm already dead. So fuck this life shit. So yeah, it is what it is. My dad went to war, so this is this is all pussy shit for him. So anyway, we go to my dad at ranking, bro. <laughs> but, but anyways, I just feel trapped up. I feel smothered, bro. Right now, you know, I feel like no control of my body. It started with that girl deleting me, dude. You know? That's for going, hey, dude, today I talked to this other girl. I was like, damn, I like your eyes. I was like, damn, let's see what happens. Let's see if I get another diss. Who knows, bro? If I get enough girl disses, dude, I might be able to have macaroni tomorrow, bro. I'll be, like, macking them up. I might fuck around and get the special sauce. But anyways, all I know is... Drugs ain't shit to be afraid of, bro. You know? Especially if you can admit that you do them. So, that's what it is.